What's up everyone? We are back in the kitchen today. Today we are making another delicious dessert together. So we are combining two of my favorite things of all time, which is chocolate and walnuts. So what are we making? We are making the perfect chocolate walnut pudding. So without further ado, I hope you're as excited as I am. We are going to jump right into this video. So let's go ahead. So what I got right here is some silken tofu. I know I used this before, but it's just a perfect base for our pudding. On top of that is a great source of protein and it keeps out all of those added sugars that we usually have in a pudding. So one packet, which is 400 grams of this silken tofu. So our next ingredient is going to take care of the chocolate part in our recipe, which is 40 grams of cocoa powder. Obviously you could use regular chocolate. Please feel free to try different variations. So where are we getting our walnuts from? What I got right here is 40 grams of already ground walnuts. Obviously you could could use normal walnuts and just put them in your blender or a food processor, both of those work fine and ground them up. 40 grams of this right in our blender. So what I got right here is 25 grams of sugar, which is going to give our recipe a little bit more sweetness. Obviously, if you want to cut out the calories from the sugar, you could use sugar substitutes like stevia or erythrit. Our last and final ingredient are going to be some vanilla flavor drops, just a few, which is going to give it a little bit more taste. Obviously, you could use regular vanilla beans or some vanilla extract, which is basically vanilla flavor drops. I got this from my protein. Links are always in the description down below. Just a couple drops of those. So now that all of our ingredients are in our blender, we can actually turn this bad boy on and get our pudding game going. So after two hours in the fridge, I took it out, served it for myself as a dessert for lunch. I caramelized some walnuts and put them on top of it. This is just what I like to do. It added some extra calories as well, but it was definitely worth it. Just a suggestion that you might want to try out. In terms of the calories, the macros are on the screen right now. We are ending up with two servings, great macros for those two servings. Obviously, you could cut out on the sugar with some sugar substitutes, just to add some suggestions as well. But it's a great recipe overall, which you're going to love because it has proteins in it. It has iron through the cocoa powder and some healthy fats from the walnuts, which is just great overall. So if you liked and enjoyed this recipe video as much as I did and I love this recipe, please leave some comments down below and show me what you think of this recipe. Also, hit the thumbs up button, make it blue, make it shine, make it lit for me, you know that sentence. That's just what I like to say. So go ahead, do that. If you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel yet, please feel free to do so to stay up to date with all of the content I put out. This is it for this video, guys. Stay healthy. We see you in the next video. We out.